What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video, and today we'll be repoing another tow truck company by request. So let's hop in the Chevy Supervisor truck and make our way over to the shop. And like I was saying, this was a very highly requested video by all of you, so I do appreciate each and every one of you. And this will definitely be one epic video repoing our competition, which doesn't really happen on a everyday basis so we'll be taking a left here and I think we'll be going after the trucks first but we will also be repoing the uh, pickup truck that the owner does drive also so definitely very interesting everything that the uh, company owns is up for repo and that means he's not paying his bills so we get to go have some fun and uh, repo them so I think what we'll do is kinda get started with the most expensive ones and then kind of work our way down just in case he kind of uh, understands what kind of is happening to him and potentially hide the vehicle so let's uh, open up this gate and I think we'll definitely leave that open since we'll be pulling right out and a lot of you guys also did tell me to kind of leave the uh, reboot vehicles kind of at the uh, shop for the next video so we'll definitely be doing that so we'll walk through the door here and it looks like I'm not allowed to kind of walk through there, but we are going to be using the Kenworth rollback today, which is going to be nice. So I think we'll kind of get this open, but we'll definitely go get the uh, heavy rescue uh, Kenworth first. We'll be using this to go after the largest uh, repo in the most expensive uh, tow truck, which is a Ford rollback. So let's hop in this and start it up. Now there will be a video later this week definitely changing all their company colors and everything like that because I think it's going to create this even more realistic so we'll be doing that. But we'll definitely kind of go through these gates here which a few of you did ask me to make it a little bit of a larger gate so I will definitely see what I can do but we'll make our way over to the shop area. Once we close those gates there, and those gates are pretty nice, they definitely help secure our shop and everything like that. So we'll make our way over and they actually run out of a gas station because they aren't that large of a company. So that probably is why they must not get enough business to kind of stay afloat. So now we have to go take their tow trucks. But we are also using the stronger tow truck definitely to kind of help us out with towing them but uh, I think that overall we would be doing a good job but we do kind of have to check the VIN in everything like that just in case because there are a lot of very similar tow trucks so we'll pull in here and as you guys can see here are the two tow trucks very small tow truck company fleet if you would say and we do have the keys to all of these but we definitely do not want to kind of drive them out so take a look at that we definitely have this here and it looks like we have to pull out this Ford. So let's pull that out. And that's actually pretty cool. Some towing companies do kind of run out of a gas station. Which is pretty uh, cool. They kind of uh, make some business off selling gas. As they also repo. So I think we'll pull this out. We'll leave this right like that. And we'll kind of back up and attach ours to this tow bar. Which I believe will work. So let's hop in this wrecker. And I think we'll turn our lights on now. And lower everything down. We're going to get backed up here. And if we are unable to tow this, this is definitely one large truck and will be a challenge. But it looks like we got that. So look at that, guys. We are repoing the first tow truck of the day. And I think that we are unable to kind of take a right. So we'll have to take a left and go a little bit of a longer way. But that is fine. But I think we do have to kind of pull over just for a moment to kind of reposition those wheels because they aren't really uh, straight and it could potentially have this uh, tow truck definitely kind of shift so there we go we got this in tow so we'll make our way back to the shop and we aren't going that fast I did notice but I don't think that's going to cause any large problems for us and like I was saying there will be a video later this week changing the company colors and changing the company logo on all of the tow trucks which I think will be very realistic and will possibly be doing some cool towing in multiplayer videos something cool like that so drop your ideas down below and if you guys haven't already I do recommend you follow me over on Instagram I do post live updates 
and a lot of cool things like that so always check me out on all the social media websites so we're going by some Burger King so we might if we do have time go stop there and definitely get some food because we are kind of hungry but uh, this truck is definitely a little heavy but I mean we can't really be towing it too fast take a look at that though we do have the lights going since I usually just like to keep those lights on if we are kind of doing any towing anything like that but getting this through the gate is definitely going to be one challenge especially since we have a very small and narrow gate and we are going by all the sport fields over there and we actually did a video building a baseball field if you guys would like to check that out and maybe we could do some repos when a uh, parent or somebody is kind of at the baseball field so let me know your thoughts what should we do for the next heavy rescue video and repo videos I'm just excited to be using all these cool tow trucks and everything like this because these are some nice trucks so this is taking us a little while actually to kind of tow make our way over and I do apologize for taking a little bit of time but sometimes you just kind of have to drive a little slow with a load like this so we definitely now have to make sure we do lock up the gate that way these cannot get stolen back by the owner and the shop is just on the other side here so once we kind of go around this roundabout we'll definitely kind of get back there and we'll definitely continue but uh, the shop is right over there. You guys can actually see the shop. And I think that we might add more trees. Kind of make it more uh, closed in. And make it harder for any owner to kind of see that their vehicle is in the back of our area. But we do notify the police when we do repo. That way they don't call in uh, claiming that it was stolen. So we always have to do that. But we'll definitely kind of turn in here. Unload this and switch to the Kenworth Wrecker. And like I was saying, the goal was to kind of get the most expensive one first, which we did. And now the challenge is, will this kind of fit through the gate? I know that it can, but are we in the correct position for it to kind of fit? So we'll definitely turn the camera view around and see what's going to happen here. Yeah, this is definitely not in the right one. So I think we'll kind of drop it right here. Definitely not going to try to squeeze it through because uh, we don't want to damage that tow truck. But we'll definitely kind of get this. Uh, close up and everything like that and back back in so we'll pull up and back in so I think we'll get the uh, Kenworth tow truck kind of a uh, warmed up as we definitely park the other one in here and we do have the key which is also very helpful we'll back this in and let me know down below in the comments guys should we move to the other tow shop the one that I used in the last heavy rescue video a lot of you guys did like that shop so I think we might switch to that because that is one nice one so I think uh, we'll pull this truck over here right out here and these next two repos will go very fast and uh, take a look at all these lights guys this is one awesome truck so I think we'll leave this right here and we'll definitely kind of back this truck in and kind of keep it inside now hopefully uh, the uh, owners kind of don't come here while we are gone because we definitely do not need any uh, troubles while we are gone. But I think we'll back this up and leave it over here. Awesome. So we'll turn this off. Everything's kind of locked up. And uh, we'll definitely lock up this. But how are we going to kind of pull out here? I think that this is a little bit of a challenge having these gates kind of right here. But we'll definitely kind of have to reposition and pull out. Awesome. So we did kind of make it. We'll definitely turn our light bar off until we kind of get the uh, vehicle up on the truck and we'll lower the gate awesome so we'll make our way over here and this is not the uh, dual axle Kenworth in the back I think we might switch to that make it even a little bit of a stronger truck for us something cool like that but we definitely kind of have to do these and the last one a little bit faster since the owner might already know that we are kind of repoing and we could have repoed his personal uh, vehicle that kind of goes with the tow shop but then that could have definitely caused him to be suspicious of what's happening we'll turn our lights bar on and we'll lower this down now this truck doesn't have too much LED lights which is fine but it definitely is a little bit stronger suspension wise also so it should be able to handle this Dodge 5500 and we have a tow truck just like this so that's pretty cool but at the same time, he could be acting like uh, we are 
uh, he's like our business, kind of acting like a, a business that he's not, because some uh, just kind of have to do that. So we'll definitely kind of lock this down, and let's see. Definitely one heavy truck, and it looks like it is not locking down. So we we'll definitely kind of have to pull this forward as we move the bed. The wheels are just about to fall off, and I know that this is a little unrealistic. And I will definitely look into it, see exactly what's causing it from not locking on. But we got this one on, guys. And I do apologize for not really looking at the uh, VIN number. We did actually forget to do that, so we definitely have to do that. We'll definitely check back when we do go to the shop. Make sure it is, but it's the same license plate. And uh, even though that they could be switching up the plates, anything like that. But as of right now, we did take the correct ones. We'll also check this once we get back there and I know that you are supposed to do it but like I was saying I do apologize we were just in a rush to kind of get these vehicles before uh, he kind of puts them in hiding because he definitely knows what happens when you do not pay your bills so we'll definitely pull in here reposition and we have to look for a new gate that's really large because this is a little uh, of an inconvenience here we'll open this up and pull this through and I think we'll go out the other door so we'll definitely pull through and uh, also trying to keep this locked up as much as possible so that nobody can kind of uh, steal their vehicles back and that will be pretty funny to steal a vehicle back so we might have to act as like a civilian or do something cool like that maybe I think we might do something like that soon but we'll back up here and we'll drop this truck and like I was saying we'll also be taking a look now at the VINs even though we were supposed to do it out there we'll definitely check kinda slide this roll back out that's awesome so we'll check this one right here the plates do match like I was saying but this is the correct VIN which is good and uh, these actually do not have any company logos on them just yet but we'll back this up leave that right here and we'll go off to the next one Awesome, so we'll also definitely turn our light bar off. We don't need that running, and it could potentially cause uh, him, but we could run into him now since we are going to his house with uh, his truck right there, and he has one nice truck, so we might actually buy it if uh, he does not kind of pay the bank back because they do sell them at auction. So if you guys are enjoying these repo videos, let me know down below in the comments and also what should we do for the next one I'm always open to cool ideas anything like that because repoing is a lot of fun and especially with these cool trucks so we'll definitely kind of turn over here we'll be taking a left there is really no stop sign so we did slow down just a little but over here we have to go very fast now so we'll definitely go fast we'll turn our LED light bar on and we'll block in the driveway just because you don't know he could be running away trying to drive away also so we blocked him in we'll run up is this the correct VIN you definitely have to kind of jump look awesome so it is definitely one tall truck definitely has a lift kit on it but we'll back up here definitely taking up some road hopefully no uh, vehicle tries to kind of squeeze by or kind of rush us but we have to get this and almost using the wrong control so we'll back this truck up on since I definitely do not want to damage it but we actually used this truck in a uh, hauling video earlier this week so if you guys haven't checked it out I do recommend you do and this is also one heavy truck but we have to kind of keep moving it back and just about to kind of fall off but we definitely saved it we'll turn it off now and we are heading back to the shop now we just completely repoed all of the vehicles that the owner of the other repo shop had which is pretty cool a lot of you guys did request me to do this so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down below what you thought thanks for watching and subscribe for more